Hello everyone, today we are going to make a dashboard with Arduino Uno and MPU6050. Uh, this is an accelerometer and gyroscope and we are going to make a, a dashboard for it. Here is our final dashboard which looks like something this. Uh, we created a real-time graph and uh, for the accelerometer and gyroscope. There are three values for a gyroscope and three values for accelerometer XYZ and XYZ and uh, we can see these values in the card format live sensor readings like this accelerometer x y and z and similarly gyroscope x y and z and if we connect this it will continuously read the data from the serial port and uh, plot it onto this uh, live charts and also display the values in these cards so if I move my MPU6050, you will see the immediate change on the readings as well as on the live graph. So these are the values. And here you can see, we can also see uh, our status, which uh, says that the serial port is connected. And if we disconnect it, the status will immediately goes to a disconnect state. So the backend we created into a Python and uh, the reason for choosing a python flask is that we can later on uh, able to add the machine learning part into this so in future upcoming videos i'm planning to convert this project into a full-fledged um, gesture recognition project with the help of mpu 6050 so we will see how far we can go with this so therefore reading the serial port we use it uh, a threaded threading dot thread to read the serial port on a background and we started this thread and we created a, a flask application and run it like this so the thread we are going to use uh, we are reading uh, arduino comport 13 and baud rate is 115200 and the filter window size is 10 so we are applying a little bit of moving average filter to this we are reading the da data like this and then we are uh, locking the thread and then we created a safe thread events and we are creating our data history so that we can push that to the charts uh, the read from arduino function look like this and what it is doing it is creating an instance of a serial port and after that it is checking if the connection active is still set then it is continuously reading uh, from the serial port a line and stripping it then if line exists it is adding a try catch block and after that it is reading a, a, a comma separated list so if I go to my Arduino you will see that the code is something like this we are sending the data on the serial port with the comma separated list and if I open a serial monitor uh, you would able to see the continuous data are displayed on this like that. So uh, first of all, we are sending three values of accelerometer. After that, we are printing three values of a gyroscope. And finally, we are printing line with the help of empty strings. So uh, a simple line break is added, appended at the end. So once we done, we added a 50 millisecond delay in our Arduino UNO code and we are using the libraries from the Adafruit for the MPU 6050 and from the sensors value. So these are the Arduino UNO code and if we go back to over this, we are simply parsing that we need to parse the six values and these six values are three for accelerometer and three for gyroscope and we push that into a data history block. Uh, then with the help of data lock, we are simply summing it and dividing by filter window size, which will eventually make our average of each of these six values. And then we are simply uh, getting a, a value error and index error, and we are printing that onto our terminal. And if the serial connection is open, we are uh, not open. We are going, uh, we are going to close it and it will tell that serial port is closed. And we are also handling the serial exception and displaying what is happening on a serial port. Uh, the Flask application is pretty simple. For the Flask application, we created our index route. And if we go back to this uh, uh, HTML page, it is using an HTMX. And uh, it uh, what the HTMX is doing, we are simply creating a JavaScript here 
which continuously pull the data from the background APIs and that APIs are implemented here. And we have one connect button and one disconnect button, which is simply doing our setting and resetting the connection active state. And after that, we have a data route, which is only copying the current data and passing it formatted the, the HTML divs. And uh, these values are being displayed in the cards like this. So this is the displayed value. And after that, we have a route for chart data and the chart is being displayed. What we are going to do, we are simply sending a data from app data dot copy uh, into a current data and uh, with a help of current timestamps. And these values are being uh, JSONified and uh, as a JSON, it is returned to the charts and the chart is displayed like this. So that's how we created our live dashboard and uh, you can uh, simply ask questions on uh, a comment section if you need uh, to know anything about this code and uh, uh, the stmx make the data fetching process pretty straightforward so i will highly recommend using stmx with your flask or django projects uh, rather than using heavy uh, react or view or any other similar framework the stmx simply uh, you can put uh, so I will explain this uh, how the STMX works. The STMX all you need to do is to add these uh, scripts uh, into your uh, project, and with the help of this uh, script tag, you are able to use the STMX. So how you are going to use it? All you need to do uh, like this. Uh, this you need to update this um, dev section. So what you are going to do? You are using a hx dev command which will simply pull the data from the backend API and all the returned value will be displayed here. So everything that you are returning this HTML uh, from your backend code like this, it is being in, uh, injected into this dev. So that's how it makes a simplify. And for the trigger, uh, how you are triggering it, you are simply saying at the time of load, uh, you trigger this uh, fetch command and uh, you repeat it every 500 milliseconds. So every 500 milliseconds you are repeating this fetch command and uh, the data is continuously being fetched from the backend API. And then you say hx swap the inner HTML and where the returned fee, uh, the data is going to be in uh, placed or it is saying that you have to swap the inner HTML. So everything inside this will be replaced with the help of uh, the return data from the backend. So that's how simplify the process will become when you use the STMX. So I highly recommend using it on your IoT based uh, digital dashboard system. So that's all for today's and I hope you uh, like this. And if you have any question, you can leave a comment.